just rolled it. Okay. Um. So, la last time, we started out by, I forget if, no, yeah, we started last time by interrogating uh, the brought back to life uh, was he the stone? He was Ryan Stone, yeah. Yep. We were in uh, Paige's pocket dimension or whatever. What is it? What's the spell called? I don't remember. It was a pocket Demi -plane. dimension. Demiplane, that's it. Uh, Paige's demiplane. We <laughs> managed to, via... Uh, uh, Wootz's psychic powers managed to convince him that a voice in his head was telling him to tell us the things we needed to know. Or <laughs> at least slowly convincing him to do so. And while he couldn't give us anything super concrete, he did give us a good uh, visual depiction of the Mason. And we we promised him that he would make it out uh, alive a little while after we did. A lie. Just a, just a blatant lie. We left him in the dark. You left him in the dark. We, we did not make that choice. You have the choice yeah. to get him out of there still. Which, by the way, I spent way too much time trying to find the clip that I made a meme for that situation before. <laughs> like, I spent uh, two hours trying to search for that clip. That explains why you sent it so much later. Yeah. Um, where the fuck? Where was I? Right. Uh, <clears throat> so, we left him there, and we came out and basically unanimously decided that uh it had to be mason bloodmore like it just it had to be it made it, he fit the description and the various other things that ryan told us about his his contact so we just we decided it had to be mason and we spent a a good long while debating how we were actually going to bring up this topic with Mason. Uh, until we eventually decided we were just gonna show up. <laughs> we were just gonna show up and ask. Of course, we did bring a nice bottle of wine and uh, an offer of an alliance with a, a lich. And he he ate that shit up. And he was like, Yep, that's that's me. I'm I'm Mason. And we were like, Cool. Could that not have been more obvious. It. And it only took but, you half an eternity to put the puzzle together. You you would actually I mean, mentioned I, it I, once I, before, like, it's right there, it can be. It's I'm too sure easy. We had probably just I, at some point I feel like most of us were like it's probably him, but we can't just assume that, right? <laughs> we talked with Mason for a bit longer. Did he actually, like, give us any information? I, f I forget. He did. He right, told us well, the okay. big bad boss of the syndicate is in the, the major hall of the town, and that we should be prepared for a fight of a lifetime. Perfect. And I, that's that was really uh, about it. It was a lot of talking and debating. More or less. And uh, we get to get into more of that this time. So gain your inspiration if you didn't have it already. I did. Uh, I don't remember what I used it for. But I did. Probably something you are like going to game. need it. <laughs> oh, I used it for my... Uh, my divine intervention roll, that's right. And it worked. But, uh, yeah, we've got more plans to make. We got to, uh, storm the castle, as it were, now. Oh, and, boy. Uh, we're level 20, strongest in the land. 
how are we gonna conquer, uh, busting into the mayor's house? So, phenomenal question. How are we going to do that? We probably shouldn't be planning in uh, Mason's library, though. Yeah, it's we a should probably weird. go home. Yeah. We, we, we should probably depart. If you excuse us, Mason, we have plans to make. I can only imagine. Alright, back home once more to make our grand plans. So who's got any ideas? Well, I don't think we can just raise the place like we did to the prison camp. Uh, Woods, have you been to the uh, the the part district recently? Slum Port District. <laughs> the slums, even, even though I think they've renamed it now? No, not recently. Well, no, wait. Yes, I had to make a delivery. Are they Why do you ask? Rest? Stadium? <laughs> not nearly as much as they once were. Oh. Okay. Well, that's good. The slums are actually kind of in a recovery period now where things are getting rebuilt and things are starting to look up. Uh, God yeah. damn it. I was planning on using the part to make a, a, a rebellion against the Tao Hao. We could use the oh, distraction to go attack the, the, I'm sorry. <laughs> the leader. Christ, Paige, hey, you'd use living subjects. I thought you would just use zombies again. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing, bro. Show on soda. Oh. I think the idea is that the poor would rebel, die, and then he'd make them into zombies. Exactly. Horrible idea. Oh, use the poor man to fight your battles. You sound like those rich pricks. That's good. Yeah, I'm going to do what Woots is thinking and kick Paige in the shin. <laughs> 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 the only one who could effectively, honestly. God damn it, Crow. If any of us, if any of us tried, it wouldn't really, it wouldn't really work out. But Crow calls it the perfect shit game. <laughs> At least paid. <laughs> He's at shin punching height for the rest of us. <laughs> Uh, but she doesn't punch shit, she breaks them. <laughs> exactly. I think Paige is forgetting that literally all of us grew up poor. <laughs> Paige grew up poor. Yeah, Paige was, was an, an orphan. orphan. <laughs> <laughs> Paige is like, yeah, I got all this money, I don't have to worry about shit. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> We have to actually force Paige to uh, think about the less fortunate. Let's see. Ah, fuck. Perhaps we. I don't know if we've actually properly scoped out the mayor's house. Maybe we should do that before we decide how we're going to handle this. We did that with the prison. So we should yeah. probably do that again, right? Recon is important. Can we count with you, Woods, on that? Of course. Well, I feel like we should probably all be there. We all have something to contribute. Woods can actually yeah. get in. I can fly and uh, scope it out from a distance. Maybe see what their security is like from the outside. And I can distract people. And you can distract people, that's right. What the fuck do I do? Uh, you're the, if anything goes wrong, you push it up, guy. Perfect. <laughs> the thing you Ultimate always ace. do every opportunity. So please, uh, key emphasis on if, not make <laughs> things go wrong, the blow shit up, guy. Ah. Uh, no, uh, if 
Woods can find the whoever the leader is, at least by name. We could probably dig up some dirt to him. That is true. I think we're a little wanted... above political recourse at this point. <laughs> yeah, that that's actually that that's a good point. I meant more like enemies, assassins that might be sent to him. You know, we could allies are never too much. That's true. Maybe we could maybe we could figure out what the uh, the wolf is doing. That's also an option. Didn't you previously put out a notice for him to come find you if you showed up? <laughs> That's yes, we talk. did. I, sure, why not? <laughs> I don't remember that happening, but I'll assume it did happen. You probably weren't there for that session. Oh, well. My bad. I think we said we would put it, but we actually didn't up at the end. Oh, I'm pretty sure you did. You could put it, like, right in the middle of town. <laughs> It's a miracle none of these people have come to our house yet. Like an actual miracle. I don't use the front door. <laughs> and Paige and I are always disguised. It's only you that we really have to worry about. Re recently we all been teleporting here. Excuse me for one second, I'll be I'll be right back. Alright. Mm -hmm. Come back here, Hazel. Oh, just kidding. You can't run from the truth. <laughs> but I don't think this guy is going to be serious business. We can't just approach the battle like a normal one. We should try everything out of our hands. We should try to poison his cup. Hire someone to try kill him before us attacking him. their reaction time, how they assemble and defend them themselves. Yeah, and he probably has an army around him, so we should make a big distraction to face him alone. Well, we'll figure it out after he we scope the place. was an option as well. Sorry, I didn't hear neither of you. One now is reading. Uh, I didn't hear what you said before. Sorry about that. Well, we'll figure it out after we scope the place out. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. We need to. We need to do that first. Maybe All we the should. Proper we could hire out. a Hansel sister. I don't know about that. I think she's be a wonderful idea. Maybe round second meeting, you know, the first one was a little intense, but I think that's just like a realization. Oh, you're still alive, which is a good thing, maybe. I mean, and maybe you know, second stuff, meeting, right? you guys come. You guys, I really assume so. That's how I seem this understanding of what happened between me and her. I, mean, I think children and siblings for... fight in the slums all the time. Exactly. I heard brothers yeah, fight they... all the time. Yeah, but they yeah. don't kill each other. Don't they? No, oh, but I've no. seen one. Well, I mean, back I in the cave, one... I killed one of my brothers. <laughs> oh, God. Uh -oh. See? Uh -oh. Then again, Spoon did kill my dad, so that was a whole thing. <laughs> Spoon killed your dad? I didn't know that. Yeah, we don't like to talk about it. I guess not. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I made a point of that forever ago. That, like, half of Krell's family was still on the bad side of the goblins way back then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well... You know. Her mom made it out, it's cool. Her mom made it out. <laughs> That's all that matters. Still has one I loving would... parent. <laughs> Yeah, I think you. I think you guys really need to uh, understand that it's not normal for 
for one sibling to kill the other out of jealousy. And then be normal after. That's not a thing that happens. Are you sure? Uh, because I... Tons of yes, the books I'm are red-hat sure, people Paige. speaking to each other. I'm very sure. There was this book by a guy called Tremblespear, called Hamlet, that had uh, this guy kill his uncle. I think it's pretty normal for families to kill each other. That was uh, not, <laughs> that's not... That's not correct! You can't just... No, no, no. There was <laughs> the other story where the son wanted to kill his dad and marry his mother, but then he realized it was his mother and he stabbed his eyes out. So I'm oh, pretty yeah, sure I this is more... that story. Yeah, that one, yeah. You... I need you to explain to me how that is re at all. Sorry, it gotta happen. Look, how else would uh, you like? How else would people think that stuff up? Oh my god. <laughs> Look, my theory for many years was that I came from nowhere, but recently I discovered I actually have parents, so I'm not big on the family thing. We'll ta let's table this idea, maybe, and come back to it later, okay? Because we're not going to see eye to eye on this. You know what? I think I figured it out. Because I know from oh. basically living and figuring things out, yeah, you have your blood family, but then you also have your chosen family. Are you guys preferring this chosen family, if that's what we are? Or do you guys just want to be alone? I will respect your choices. Would you, though? I feel like this is the Oh, probably not. I think you wouldn't <laughs> respect. Oh, I probably won't, but I'm saying this in, in the moment. To make you feel better. Either way, Hansel's probably getting hugged at the end of this conversation. <laughs> let's just let's just go. Hug. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hug. I'm gonna try to steal something from him. Uh, do you have anything? Uh, you, you could ha what do I? What do I have? My favorite part I don't know, about, but I'm gonna roll... My favorite thing about Hans was that we're just overwhelmingly supportive of him, and it makes him remarkably uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> You're overwhelmingly supportive of him In the wrong way. and the idea that his sister is still a good person. Uh... <laughs> like, it just doesn't work. I have so much... No I have, like, nothing valuable. Is there anything metal or like a toy? I've got, I've got like mad. I've got, I've got weapons. I got a set of weighted dice. They're mine now. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but weighted dice aren't as fun to play with because they always roll the same thing. Right, they're mine. Mine now. I don't know, it's a toy, it's dice, I'm probably gonna think I'm the luckiest person ever. I, I think Krell also has a pair of uh, cheaters dice too. Somewhere in here. We still haven't figured out what this gold orb does. We got it identified and everything, and even Fizzer Widget didn't know what was going on with it. Other than the, the chronomancy. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Here, Woods, you can have this. I don't I don't need this big gold orb anymore. You can have it. Oh, you don't know I'm stealing from you. That's a very good idea. <laughs> I don't know. I'm saying you can have it because I can't use it. I don't think you can roll perception high enough to even detect who it's stealing from you. I can't. <laughs> Which is weird because that's one of your casting stats. Actually, maybe I can't. Uh, I have no idea. It'd be insight. Insight? Yeah, insight to what I'm stealing from you. Yeah, or, I mean, I have or a, that I have an alternative motive. I have a plus 11 to insight, which is pretty good. 
I need you to figure out what's missing, but uh, the perception it is doesn't. low. It really doesn't matter. Well, my perception's the same. Yeah, it really does not matter. Yeah, it, it oh. does. Okay, well. Let's get a move on. Oh, yes. right. I keep forgetting, I have the fates, I need to use that at some point. You gotta figure out a good moment for it. Yeah. When will it be important? Yeah, to completely rewrite we have one like, event in time. We have like three high level children who could, uh, who could help us out. <laughs> Three? Or is it two? Well, I say, we got the two orphans. And they Robbie. Hired, yeah, they hired out a Oh, yeah, we got an orphan. I forgot about her. The, uh, the other one. <laughs> well, I'm only ever looking at the left side of the house model, so I completely forgot she was that, over there. That's. Because we're basically, like, we never spend time in our. Yeah, like, we come to the war room, and then we leave, and we rinse and repeat, and occasionally we eat things. We always, we usually sleep at the house, just to cover those portions extensively. Yeah. Like when you play Here's video games, question. you don't think about how often the person has to go to the bathroom. Unless you're playing Ark. Hmm. Here's the question, what's the type of gossip that has in our, uh, our, our kitchens? <laughs> Knows, because they man. must talk about what we do all the time. Listen, if you work for the people that regularly come home painted in blood, you tend not to spread rumors. <laughs> especially, if you get, especially if you get paid, like, super well. So, you got no reason to gossip. These people are paying me, like, more money than most people will ever see, ever. Fuck yeah! Plus, we have a couple actual, like, rogues and a couple child freedom fighters. Like, <laughs> we're morally gray at best. They don't know we're tackling this evil organization. Well, I mean, I think we're serial killers. They gotta walk into the war room eventually. <laughs> That's true, that's a good point. Tisva and Druxus have both actually been in there, so both of the kids. Chori just kind of sticks to the kitchens. Yeah. They have, like, some idea of what's going on. What the cleaners are probably weirded out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're fine. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we make our way to the central courtyard once more, where we've done stakeout missions before. Before, you know, unleashing hordes of zombies upon the populace. I'm pretty sure Paige caused a whole pandemic with that problem. Absolutely. <laughs> really need to handle the things we do sometimes. Here's a question. Would zombies spread diseases? I know the probably probable answer is yes, but necromancers spend a lot of time with uh, zombies and they are still human. Like, they would probably carry, like, actual diseases, but as far as spreading zombieism, not so much. Unless you happen I, to be playing as the zombie PC race I homebrewed several years back. <laughs> no, I meant like actual types of zombie that they carry, the type of diseases that they carry as bodies. Oh yeah, that's probably a thing. Yeah, but I, I would assume something the necromancy spell cleans them, because, you know, necromancers spend a lot of time with bodies. <laughs> 
Broadway, but if you just pull it up, Joe Schmo, who's been laying out in the sun for two weeks and his bones have been picked clean. True. Hmm. I don't even know what to make of that. Oh, shit. I'm just saying you should locally source your zombie fodder. <laughs> 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 Locally sourced zombies. I know a good going in door to door. Right Hello, would you like to become a zombie today? Or you know, just walking <laughs> through back alleys and just shiving random strangers. <laughs> Congratulations, you've been enlisted. What stab? <laughs> uh, U.S. Army moment. <laughs> Well, the stabbing comes later for that. We want you to be a zombie. The you W army. <laughs> Undead wizards. <laughs> when the um, multi-thousand-year-old rich enlist the zombie draft. <laughs> I don't think black armbands are going to do much. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not, I'm not really sure what we're going to do once we get there. But we're going to do something. It's going to work. We're right just scouting at the moment. Just scouting, that's right. Right. Man, this place is going to be massive. One would think. All right. Ow, back. My skeleton is so frail. Should drink more milk. <laughs> no, I hate milk. <laughs> and that's why your skeleton is weak. <laughs> <laughs> you need that calcium in your bones. Calcium, schmalcium, what has calcium ever done for anybody? Allows you to stand upright. Ah. Yeah, that's pretty important. <laughs> I say that hunched over my notes. <laughs> <laughs> so where the bone? I'm gonna go about distracting people. I'm uh I think I'm gonna go with the old Chinese dancing dragon routine with my major image. Ah. I, I mean yeah, if it works, it works. Like it's got lights, it's got sounds, it's got sparklers. I can do the full works of major illusion. Box fits in a twenty foot cube. I I've got flying to do. Like my whole job I'm... is to keep people from seeing him flying into a restricted area. <laughs> exactly. And because I have mega vision, I can effectively fly high enough where people won't really be able to see me. Unless they also have really good vision. Unless they also <laughs> happen to have mega vision. In which case, I'm in trouble. Are they exposed? Uh, not at the moment. I'm just going to cast invisibility and take a walk over on the course here. Alrighty. Yeah, that is, that is a way to do that. <laughs> they just... They're invisible with the distractions going on and just wander straight through the gate. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, the manor itself is rather old. It's colonial style. Uh, a lot of repairs have been made to it over the years. Uh, it is in itself a two-story building. 
but only part of the building has two stories. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, it seems like it's been repainted many times over the years, mostly varying shades of white. It just seems like a normal house. <laughs> Except no, really big. <laughs> yeah, it's just a big house. But yeah, there are outward the facing windows on much of the side. Most of the side. Uh, probably some fine oak. Oh, so it's flammable. Everything's flammable if you try hard enough. True. Even fire. Sure. <laughs> okay. I well, just feel like accepting that information right now. <laughs> Look into how plasma is formed. It'll blow your mind. Anyway, what's Woods doing? I'm also going to turn invisible and kind of walk in there. <laughs> I'm looking through any windows. Oh, no, wait, is there a balcony on the second level? Uh, balconies, no, but there are plenty of windows. Damn, okay, well, I don't think I can get to the second floor and stay there. Um... From the looking inside of the windows, do I see any, like, rooms that aren't that used that often? Uh, most of the rooms appear well-cleaned, well-traveled. Right. There aren't that many rooms in the house. It's just each, room's, each room is rather grand in scale. I think if you stack it all up, they have... Roughly the same square footage as our house. Something, something doesn't seem right about that. Are there any workers inside, or...? There's a few maids, cleaners, stuff like that. Nothing too crazy. A few guards here and there. It doesn't feel like, uh overly defended. Yeah. He's going to make his way to the service. Um, you know where the kitchens and the service were like a, you put all, all the whatever shipments of food or everything. I'm going to go make my way to that side of the house. Uh, they just go right at the front door. There's not many entrances. Oh, really? They you know, for a, like a fancy house, they don't have a servant's or servant entrance. Man, they're cheap. Well, he's a mayor. Technically, he's a servant of the people. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. No, they're not. <laughs> but they want you to think. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the police force that we routinely kill. <laughs> Well, I, I gotta tell you guys, I'm starting to think that maybe there's something we're not seeing here. You're right, we should go like, in. This doesn't feel like the type of place we'd mount a full-scale assault on. Well, I mean, not all of us have the ability to just go in. Which you do. You can get away with that. You're right, I probably will. Thank you for your support. I'm gonna shadow step into the room. Still invisible. Which room? Um, is there like a study or like a lounging, like you know where like our fireplace and has chairs? Whatever room looks like that, living room or sitting room, whatever room that is. Um, yeah. Doesn't appear to be one on the bottom floor. Okay. Whatever room looks less empty or more empty. Uh, most of the rooms have at least one person in them, so. Wow. Make this super quiet. I mean, it's the middle of the day. The caretakers are doing their caretaking. 
Or the gardener Ooh. nearly hit me with a rake. <laughs> can't believe can't believe they have a diligent work cycle. This is ridiculous. <laughs> As opposed to us, no, I got another plan. Never go home. We, you know, we supply them with home and bedding and food and money, like a lot of money. <laughs> I mean, I specifically remember, like, at least two of you getting really irritated when Shori took a day off. We didn't get irritated, we just got concerned. <laughs> People are allowed to have lives outside of us. No, they're not. At least, like... <laughs> What's <laughs> notification so we don't have to worry about you? Plays game for three years, finds out they're not actually the protagonists. I could not believe it. <laughs> Turns out there's this other group of adventurers who's actually been doing all the real work behind the scenes. It's our. It's, it was our staff the whole time. <laughs> It's our cook and the accountant. Plus, man, you don't want to mess with a high-level scribe. Oh man, you guys will fuck you up, probably. I don't know. I don't know what scribes do. They I'm pretty stuff. sure there's at least one movie about an accountant secretly being an assassin. There's a movie about fucking anything. Anything. I'm you pretty sure the movie's just called The about. Accountant. Sure it is. You can, I mean, if there can be a horror movie about a serial killer dentist called The Dentist, why couldn't there be that? That movie's terrible, by the way. Don't watch it. I know, I watched both of them. <laughs> <laughs> there were two? There was another one? Mm -hmm. Was it just as bad? Yep. Of well, I mean, of course it was. I'm gonna have to look this up later. <laughs> At yep. your own risk, they're, they're really boring. I'm gonna see if there's a trailer or something. Yep, I was remembering correctly. The Accountant is a movie where Ben Affleck is a mathematics savant who makes ben his life <laughs> as a freelance accountant for dangerous criminals. And. Yeah, that's a really bad description. By the way, I love to learn that there is an actual marketing department in most cartels. Well, yeah, how are you going to move product otherwise? <laughs> and yeah, he's got a point. But uh, to quote the illustrious uh, Captain Jack Sparrow, uh, people aren't cargo, mate. <laughs> I haven't seen any of those movies. <laughs> oh my what? god. This you haven't seen the Caribbean franchise? No, I haven't. Oh my god. I think I saw like thirty minutes from one of them, like a long time ago. I'm going to find you in real life, tie you up to a chair and make you watch all the movies that you haven't seen. <laughs> it's a lot of movies. You could be there a yeah. while. It's like all the good movies that everyone should watch. <laughs> it's like you have. It's gotcha. like telling me you haven't seen. Uh, what the fuck's the name of the movie? Uh, Angels in the Outfield, the most American movie ever. I've never even heard of it. It's a movie about Got baseball you. and angels take over the players to make them play good. What? <laughs> yeah. That's not fucking real. <laughs> it's real, man. Look, I, I barely see movies I want to see. <laughs> I saw it. M. Night Shyamalan's The Last Airbender before I saw Into the Spider-Verse, alright? 
Well, yeah, and that I movie was... came out, like, years beforehand, so... Yeah, but I wasn't an Avatar fan in a year and a half ago. Fair enough. I've got, like, three episodes left in my rewatch. Why is your dog pink? What? <laughs> I'm looking out my window, and this old lady has a pink dog. Probably because she dyed it. Why? Why would you do that? Oh my god, oh, is the old lady dressed as like a farmer's wife, like, be like Courage the Cowardly Dog? That'd be very funny. <laughs> Does she have a grumpy husband on our side? No, she looks grumpy as shit. She looks like she's ready to punch somebody. Oh, so that's not Muriel? No, it's definitely not Muriel. Reverse, okay. <laughs> Alright, All right, so we're, we're breaking into this house. <laughs> yeah. We're more, well, we're planning we're the breaking in house. of this house. Planning? I'm already trying to figure out how to get in. I'm going to, at some point. <laughs> well, technically speaking, you can teleport to any position you can see. You just look in a window and be in there. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm just making sure I'm like, how can I arrive silently as possible if there's one guy in every room? Is the well, front door open? If we come at night, the workers won't be here. That's true. We could just wait it out. Or, I can try to convince the staff that the place is haunted. Yeah, you, you could do that. <laughs> that is an option that exists. Oh, I just remembered something. I can cast Misty Step at will. <laughs> uh, can I just oh, look at turn invisible? somewhere open and teleport inside? Yeah. Wouldn't that make you not invisible anymore? No. I don't think so. The Misty Step is in concentration. Oh wait, casting a spell breaks invisibility. I don't know. Because for, the it's cause for the first time in forever, you didn't ping it. Did I know greater... Ability, did you go? Yeah, spell ends for a target that attacks or casts a spell. If you'd used greater invis invisibility, it'd be a dexterity save. Oh, so yeah, that's probably best not to do that. Right. So, if I if I've pegged it correctly, the idea is we either come back at night, or we let Woods try to convince them that there's ghosts and the place is haunted. I feel like one of these plans is a lot less complicated. Is there any room on the first floor that has filing cabinets? Woods, please. <laughs> <laughs> filing cabinets? No. Filing cabinets or something that has a drawer where you can pull it out and I can toss stuff there's out. There's a kitchen. If there's a trance I can read. What's that? There's a kitchen. Perfect. Not exactly going for the image I want, but that's okay. No way, I can work. I can work with this. Yeah, give me that. I'm gonna get get into that kitchen. Alrighty. Seems to be a fairly standard kitchen, a little upscale, but nothing too crazy. They happen to have two soup spots, two soup pots, so that's interesting. Oh, are they cooking something? No, they just have two. Oh. Most people don't need more than one. Keep that Maybe same I have more stew than... going for eons. Back in the inventory. Like, is there anyone else in the kitchen? Is there like someone working or anything like that? Uh, not at the moment. It's not near meal time. Is your... I'm sorry, is your plan just to like bang pots and pans together and go, Ooh. 
<laughs> no, first things first, I want to see if they have any mushrooms in, um, in their whatever, um, cabinet or, you know, like where their produce is, if they have mushrooms or if they're gonna, you know, like, eventually eat them. Probably. Didn't you steal some mushrooms? Okay, because I got paid. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I got the mushrooms. I do. I want to mix it with the mushrooms they have, and hopefully they'll just get super <laughs> drugged up one day. Slowly being a ticking time bomb. What the? F well, I mean, you could have like put them in the stew pot, but I guess that works too. <laughs> well, um, I asked if there was anything in it. And you're like, no, there's just two. I guess they were actively cooking anything right now. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. Let's put it in the stew pot. I'll even dice it up if I have to. <laughs> Take out one of your daggers, start cutting up these hallucinogenic mushrooms, toss them in the stew pot, and just simmering away. Because okay. if there's any, yeah, if there's not... any good drug to douse an entire house of people with, it's psilocybin. <laughs> Listen, they're going to be seeing dragons before the dragons actually show up. I guess so. I want to open every drawer cabinet in this space. <laughs> All right. Just go about opening every visible surface that can be opened. Yep. Like, it looks like a small toddler who's just figuring out drawers ran through here. Yeah, opening up, leaving them open. And then, ah, uh, fuck, what else do ghosts do? I'm trying to think. Who's this? I'm trying to think. How does Boots even have a concept of ghosts? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I think I heard stories about them, but I'm trying to remember them, and it's not going that well. Okay, you know what? Yeah. I... Oh, no, I can't, because that'll be magic. Is there anyone, uh, like, in the next room over? Or is there any people nearby? How fast, like, if I was to cast a spell, then redo invisibility on myself, how fast would someone... Uh, you can hear voices from the next room over, but, uh... Unless somebody's sprinting, I don't think they're getting in here within six seconds. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to grab a few kitchen knives. Of course, as one does. Yep. I'm going to make brace myself, be prepared. And then I am going to use Minor Illusion to make a very loud scream. <laughs> Okay. Like high pitched woman screaming, and I'm gonna quickly turn invisible and kind of be where like no one's going to approach me until I figure out how they're gonna get into this room. Okay, so you let off the high pitched scream, and then drift back into invisibility, hiding uh, just out of uh, position where someone would immediately run into you upon entering the room, and uh, a few seconds later, a uh, well mustachioed portly man comes sprinting in through the uh north facing door what's going on here i leave for just a few moments to use the restroom and all hell breaks loose it's <sighs> gonna spend all afternoon cleaning this mess up uh, at least nothing's happened to my stew <laughs> he goes about starting to clean up all the uh, mess that Woods was made while uh, tending the to the stew every couple of minutes. The moment he turns his back, and <laughs> the moment he turns his back after he like cleans up a space, like the drawers or cabinets reopen as quietly as I can make them. <laughs> Uh, I just step away and see what happens. <laughs> it's like every time he goes back over to start stirring his stew pot again, you just go across the room and just open every door again. 
like the little uh -huh. cleaner robot in Wally. <laughs> I just like the opposite. I, think. I I know how I can stealthily look inside the manor. You get a stool. I'm going to. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to polymorph myself into a gray cross spider. Why specifically that kind? <laughs> because they fly on pieces of silk. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, that's cool as fuck. So I'm going to turn into a small black spider and just stealthily cross the manor. <laughs> flying. That's only a little bit terrifying. <laughs> oh yeah, imagine if someone just... Oh yeah, going to slap that spider and a wizard comes out of it. <laughs> yeah, just smack. <laughs> Poof. <laughs> and there's just a little, there's just a little man. Heals <laughs> <laughs> you moments later. <laughs> just what the fuck? Streak of green, and he drops dead. Uh, Basically you know, that. <laughs> you know, Crow, I'm not sure how much is actually getting done in there. I don't uh, know, but I'm running out of time over here, and I imagine you are too. Yeah. <laughs> my my spell only lasts least. ten minutes, and your flight only lasts ten minutes. I only, I have like four minutes of flight. Oh. So yeah. <laughs> so, I need to I need to retreat soon. Oh my god, Garsh, let me tell you, fly stays amazingly. Okay, how is this really? relevant? <laughs> no, <laughs> not relevant, but seriously. Why are you going out of your way to eat flies? None Look, of us I'm know a that you buy their body, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. That's that's nice and all. I'm glad you discovered the the taste of fly. But the what what's going on in there? Have you figured out anything? Well, yeah. <laughs> all right. So you're crawling about as a tiny spider, just dodging the uh, people in the room. Flying. <laughs> okay, you're obnoxiously <laughs> flying at about face level <laughs> through a fucking room. <laughs> Uh, you hear, uh, that echoing screech from one of the side rooms, and, uh, a portly man comes running through, and, uh, you happen to slap him right through his face <laughs> as he's running into the kitchen, so you get to bear witness to all the calamity that Woots is performing in there. You just kind of tuck yourself under his, uh, little chef hat. <laughs> Looney shit going on in here. <laughs> <laughs> Rat Atuli moment. There's a Krell's just out here entertaining kids. I am. This is. This is maybe one of the greatest things I've ever gotten to take part in. Give it a couple days. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in there, but uh, I think you guys are really missing the point of this entire mission. Alright, we gotta ump the ante. What? <laughs> Says who? That's what I interpreted from that conversation. No! Well while Woods is doing a mess, I'm going to crawl out of the cook set and just try to find out where the the mayor's room is. Alrighty. Uh, how are you getting through these closed doors while flying? You ever saw how small a spider is? Yeah, but it's going to take you a while for you to walk around. <laughs> I got... Give it a moment, Paige. I have an excellent idea. No, no, I'm going to fly, then I'm going to 
just drop on top of the door, pass through it, and then fly again. <laughs> uh, Alright, the gentle breezes of the house carry you over by a fireplace on the far side of the room, where a uh, older couple are sitting and drinking wine, and uh, recounting of stories of their youth. How they used to meet in the summertime down by yonder river and enjoy merrymaking. <laughs> Pages Con need to stop for a yeah. moment to listen and before continuing. <laughs> he just gets enthralled with the story for gets he's a spider. <laughs> yeah. Just, oh yeah, I have a thing I'm supposed to be doing. W what can I say? Pages is a, a hopelessly romantic for other people's stories because he hates romance. <laughs> that explains the novels. Yeah. Alright, eventually you drift your way over to a small alcove that leads to a spiral staircase. And, uh, our people outside are severely limited on time. Hansel's already landed at this point. Krell's spell isn't going to last much longer. They've all been investigating for about 10 minutes. And come up with literally nothing. Except potentially getting the whole building high. We just need to find the mayor. <laughs> You're not finding anything! There's a very oh easy solution to this problem that I think y'all are overlooking. Probably. What do we is... not over something? Paige has met the mayor. Have I? Council with Mason, right? Yep. Oh, I <laughs> you know, for... all those people you blabbed everything about the group to. <laughs> oh, great. So, yeah, oh. I'm, going to... <laughs> I'm going to find the mayor here. I don't remember his name. Well, I mean, the anvil was also there, too, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they don't know of our abilities, just what our plans were at the time. Yes, don't know of your abilities, you know. Like the guy who's watched every arena fight we've ever been in. <laughs> well, we didn't fight him. Yeah, but he watched us fight at the highest level. Oh, man. I wouldn't say the highest level, but pretty high level. Uh, and information is the hottest of commodities. Uh, we, have, we, we've, we have messed up. We're <laughs> fooled. That's why we need an army for this job. No, I don't we think don't we do. We're... We don't know what we're bringing in army. Because it's clearly not this house because nothing's going on here. Well, Mason did why... say that... That's Ma why you're in there looking for... And not... Boiling around with a strained mustache man who's scared of ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> he's scared yet. Is he scared? <laughs> yeah, he, he's definitely, uh, creeped out. <laughs> like he's constantly looking over his shoulders, trying to not panic, but he's panicking a lot. Okay. I take one of the kitchen knives. 
and when he's looking away, like behind his shoulder, I'm just going to like move kind of right, like right behind him, and I'm going to drop one of the knives in front of him, like you know, like the Poltergeist movies, you like where they just randomly drop in front of him or the knife. Yeah. I'm just going to make that happen, not to hurt him, just going to let it drop and back away, and I'm leaving the room. Well, I mean, as soon as God, it leaves your hand, it turns visible again. <laughs> so I just see me yeah, so tears out of nowhere. Ever. Clatters to the ground. And he fucking damn near jumps out of his skin before bolting out the door again. Well, I'm gonna follow him. Him, because that's the door that opened. <laughs> we All are right. the most effective heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Krell spells out of time, so she's gonna find some place to hide. You and me both, Krell. Did uh, I find the mayor? Uh, eventually you drift your way up the stairs to find, uh, the man you once met many, uh, many a potential year ago. I don't remember if it was pre-time warp or post-time warp that you met with him. I'm going to I think he, go yeah, hide he in the... Sorry. Oh yeah, it was before, right before the time left. war because it's like the we did get the information. We left. Yeah. And that's why we have three years worth of envelopes from them. <laughs> yep. So I'm going to hide in a dark corner of the room for about ten minutes to see what he does. Ah, uh, he's napping. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My god, are we losing our minds? Okay, so instead of just go hiding, I'm going to try to see his stuff, like his desk, his pockets uh, or something. See if I find did, anything. Well, you're currently in his bedroom, so his, his personal effects, the normal things he'd carry with him, his wardrobe. Oddly enough, there are two queen-size beds in this room, though. Is the other Is he one married? occupied? Uh, not presently. Is he a married man? You don't want to marry people that have two queen-size beds in the same room? Oh, no. I should make a point of saying they're on opposite sides of the room. They are well, separated. <laughs> Maybe it's one of those another frost clones. <laughs> Man takes real good of his simulacrum, real good care of his simulacrum. To the point where they it actually melts itself out of comfort. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's either that or like, I don't know. Why the hell would you have two beds in one room? That's weird. Oh, maybe. maybe something weird's going on with the second one. Can I make a check to see if he's actually sleeping? Uh, medicine?
Yeah, here's the... Crow, where are you? I'm over in the alley, behind the bombs. Okay, so we're going to just fly there. <laughs> it's in so which alley. <laughs> There's a God lot man. of alleys and a lot of bombs. I just go to a fucking alley. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> This is truly. So yeah, uh, you're just floating like. into an alley, and just a hand comes up and just slaps the shit out of you out of the sky. Goddamn spiders! Some random homeless man just smack the shit out of you and polymorphs you back, and you just slam into a garbage can. <laughs> it, it, are are we both alone? Uh, there's a couple other people in the alley, in the alley, but uh, no one's really paying attention to anyone else at the moment. Paige <laughs> <laughs> is going to drop the classiest, most offensive slurs at this homeless guy before leaving. <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, "classy" and "slur" do not belong in the same sentence. The I meant classist. Oh. <laughs> All right. Now, what's Woots doing now? Is the only one remaining in there. Yep. <laughs> yeah, what is Woots doing? What Paige told... What room the mirror's in? Yes. I left okay. a mark on top of the window. Okay. I'm... I'm gonna try to sneak into his room. Alright. So you sneak your way up the spiral staircase to the top floor. And, uh, there's a guard at the door. What a, what a shock. I can't believe it. Man likes to be protected while he's sleeping. The spider got through easy enough because it can go through the cracks in the door, but someone that actually <laughs> needs to open the spider. door... I'm gonna grab one of my kitchen knives. You mean the remaining? <laughs> the remaining kitchen knives. And I'm just gonna throw them down the stairs. Alright, it creates quite the clatter. Does the guy react whatsoever? Is he gonna move? Cause my plan is to kind of slip in behind him and. Uh, he looks, maybe leans forward a bit, trying to see what the hell that was, but, uh, he's likely been ordered not to leave his post. It's difficult. I dropped all my knives. If only. Are there any other rooms that like an office space besides is that where that all is in the his room? Uh his room is the only main room on the second floor. The construction here sucks. And he's standing right in front of the doorway? Uh, he's standing off to the side of it, but not more than arm's reach. What? I'm gonna kind of peer under the doorway. Can I somehow be able to see to the other side? Uh, given your anatomy, not really. We 
got this. Oops, you'll figure it out. Test the door knob, see if it turns. It turns, but it makes a uh, rather noisy click once it uh, gets past the closed position. And uh, the guard immediately turns to the door. Freeze. The hell's going on over here now? And he just reaches for the doorknob. I let go and I just, uh, you hear, you know, I'll hiss at him. And I'm just gonna run down the stairs, or run downstairs. He just stands there looking dumbfounded like, the hell? Gives the doorknob a couple of test shakes to make sure it's working properly. We're standing there confused. Alright. So whereabouts are we regrouping? Right back at the house, I'd imagine. I mean, yeah. it's a location we all know. I mean, we all know a lot of locations, but... That's true. We'll probably run into each other on the way as well. Mm, quite possibly. Starting to think... So we know the mayor's there, that's good. Roots, what were you, what were you doing while we were waiting? Hoping to steal something personal. Oh. But there's a damn guard at the door. I feel like that wasn't the focus of the mission. <laughs> Not the focus, but you know, What's that? Roots, is a, Roots is a weird kleptomaniac, so... Excuse me? Uh... I'm not sure to feel like I appreciated the compliment or insulted. <laughs> I do feel, however, what... I'm, it's more, it's less of a, a an insult or a compliment, more of just a statement. And so you already have problems with your family. Don't try to embarrass your friends as well. I'm not trying to. What? Don't this say always... bad things about your friends. Woods what? is not a kleptomaniac. He just likes to take things. That just so happen to not be his. And usually other I, people. No, crazy no, hours. no. I find them. I find things, and it's not my fault that people don't notice it that they're gone. Exactly. Pages casting focus is currently hanging out of Boots's belt. <laughs> I'm. Have I have I lost my mind? Am I going crazy? Not any more than now, well. What? <laughs> you heard anyway. Me. So, so I figure out where the mayor is, and he was quietly asleep. So I don't think he's preparing for an, an attack right now. Okay. Usher into so the, the soup. What? What What about the soup? There's a soup? What'd you do to the oh, soup? Oh, it was- I added mushrooms to it. I added mushrooms to it. Why? Why not? Yes. Paige gets it. He's a cook. So anyway, what's the game plan when we actually attack? Yeah, like, <laughs> we've, we've yet to decide how we're going to handle the job. So, Paige, you know where the mayor's room is, that's good, right? Yeah, I left a mark outside so we can find it later. Okay, good. Okay, um, so at least one of us should enter through that way. 
And if you could, yeah, when we go and when we go to actually do it, you could point it out to the rest of us so we can find other ways in. Hell, I'm light enough that Hansel could probably even throw me up there. Yeah, probably. Ballistic. So what, we just Ow. kidnap him? We... So we gotta do throw the goblin at least once in the campaign. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> it's not a D&D game if you don't goblin spear at some point. Goblin chunk. So what's the plan we here? Just, we just go kidnap the, him, we just try to fight him there. We just show up and murder him dead. What's hard about this? <laughs> yeah, I Look, mean, bro, he is the big boss of an organization. I doubt that he's going to be alone. Well, sure, but that's, that's, what, that's why you have four of the, you know, that's why there's four of us. Still, I don't think he's going to be with less than four guards. Probably. I mean, also he had two worried. beds in his room, so what? Hey, what? someone else is there. Okay, hold on. Let's. He has two beds in his. How did... did you like check out what was going on with them at all, or did you just note that that little factoid down for the class? Well, I. I couldn't see much. It's just two queen size beds. That's two oh, is he having marriage problems? Oh. Yeah, he could have marital problems, or there could be someone in there. Okay. Like a side lady? Tattoo, or a permanent bodyguard. I'm still not sure why we can, can't just go and take him out. <laughs> you magic abilities that you can sense, Paige? I didn't see anything. Didn't think to check. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I couldn't gauge much from the outside. Uh, they didn't have a lot of people sweeping the grounds, so... Yeah, from Hansel's point of view, security be. wasn't even remotely tight. Too easy. I mean, Woods breaks in there like once a week, so security is not there. Oh no, I never tried the mayor house. I never tried it. Yeah, town hall and the mayor's house are two different things. Exactly. Oh. So, should we just wait for next night and charge him? I mean, sure, when have our actual plans ever gone to fruition? <laughs> I feel like there's not much plan to, to do here, because... Yes, there is. You guys just don't want to overcomplicate stuff. We, what the, all we have gauged from this was... The mayor is in a room in the house. There is two beds in his room, and there was a guard outside the room. That is the only thing we have figured out. And you want to make a, a plan that is so intricate based on that little tiny bit of stuff we know. Yes. We know barely anything about this guy. We know enough. Do we? Do we really? Yes. Listen, we just gotta get Paige in a room with him, and Paige can just, like, kill people with a word now. That's what I'm saying, so we should just be able to go in and handle. What if could possibly so, go... Here goes my plan of charging the mayor's house with a bunch of fire giants. Where were you going to get fire giants? Through what? polymorph into a in, and a bunch of rocks. You know, I could just go to Muspelheim and find the actual fire giants, right? <laughs> I know. 
I feel like you're really overcomplicating things for no reason. <laughs> That's the fun of it. <laughs> That's a good point. I mean, yeah, I think we, I think just going and doing it is the, the quickest and most effective way to get this done. Okay. If things, if things go wrong, it's not like, you know, we're incapable of solving problems. We're alive still. We ran into a few snafus here and there. Well, we're alive. Some of us are, are alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's just let recharge our spells, or at least let me recharge my spells. We fly into the room and try to murder him. Yeah. yeah I think that's good. a general idea. Glad we've glad we finally found something we can agree on. Who's that? Are, are we going to be with good old assassinate or are we going to do something more intricate like poison? Does it really matter at this point? This is the last guy we have to kill. Eh, I mean, fine by me. Isn't poisoning just another way of assassination? Yeah, it just takes Somewhere. forever and it's boring. Yeah. Sure. I mean, you haven't given me a reason I can't just crash through the roof and crush the guy. <laughs> I don't think he's going to be uh, that weak. Probably not, but, you know, it would look cool. True. Yeah, just your usual 60-year-old human. He is definitely powerful. <laughs> Old human? That guy's got to be some type of crazy wizard. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We're smart. So yeah, let's just long rest and then go. Right. Let's wait for night to come and then we will we will take care of it. Yeah. Obviously, there's got to be there's got to be something we're not seeing. It's not just. <laughs> old man that we're gonna go fuck up. <laughs> Something's gonna happen. I'm pretty sure that was the plot of an Assassin's Creed game. You get to the last dude and he just fucking gives up immediately. Maybe. I don't know. Actually, I that was. That's the exact ago. plot of fucking Assassin's Creed Valhalla. You get to the last dude and he's just chilling on a fucking farm. And he's just like, yeah, I'm the guy. Here's my badge. I give up. That happens in, um... <laughs> One of the Borderlands DLCs, you come across the last guy and he just... Yeah, he falls down the stairs and dies. And dies. <laughs> he breaks his neck and dies. Like, you walk in and he's doing this whole, like, hyping himself up to fight you shtick. And then he just down the stairs. No, he just, he just starts giving his monologue and just trips and he's done. You get to watch his health bar go down with every hit. <laughs> <laughs> I, forget, I forget if it's a. I forget if it's a two DLC. It probably is. I remember I it was in a place. swamp, but I don't remember which game it was in. I think I'm pretty sure it was in two, because it wasn't yeah. in three. Because I replayed that recently. I didn't. I didn't play uh, the two DLCs, and I. But I did play two all the way, so I know. It I don't think it was in the pre sequel. I, I know it definitely that. wasn't in I've, the first one. I've only finished two. How about that? I have played all of them, including the really shitty ones. I've played all of them, but that doesn't mean I've finished all of them. <laughs> like, I played the Telltale games for the achievements. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Actually, I hear, I hear it wasn't that bad. I hear they were the pretty story. good, and they made them canon to the storyline, so it was neat. Uh, how about that? Anyway. Anyway, let's... It's time to totally Leroy Jenkins bad. the fuck out of this. Yeah, here we are. If that's the room right there. I can see the tiny silks I left. Alright, it's the second <laughs> story window front facing. Girl, how, how high do you think I could fly and throw you at the roof of this room? Uh, Crow weighs a whole 41 pounds. So, right. uh, probably I'm, pretty I'm, good. I need, I need to know, like, how you're not going to get hurt from me doing this. 
Because the idea is that you're going to crash spectacularly. We'll figure that it out. That ground needs to eat more. We'll figure it out. I have 172 hit points. I could take some glass to the face, okay? Fair <laughs> All right. Plus, I can heal. I have like 14 healing potions still. And then I'll come in after Prell crashes through the wall. So, Woos and Payne, how are you two going to get in? The porn fucking door, maybe? <laughs> the front door! <laughs> Man. Uh, I'm going to go with you. <laughs> okay. Woot. I mean, you can handle crowd. Why not me as well? That's true. Uh, that's a good point, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna throw both of you at the same time. <laughs> Woot, how are you going to get in? Fuck it, three people on. You could pick me up. <laughs> no, I don't think you can pick me up. I'd go right through. I weigh. Let's see how much I weigh again. Probably a good amount at least. Probably like 200 something. Under 90 pounds. No, nope, I don't think he can throw me. Uh, eh, you'd be surprised. These, my my strength enhancements are very helpful at the, uh, but I don't think I'd be able to throw you high enough to get you there. That's for sure. At least without a skill and check, the other two would be fine. Couldn't Woods just climb? Yeah, Woods could just climb. Yeah, I, I can. Climb. We got it figured out. Woods could just yep. climb, I could fly, and I'm going to throw the, the two small ones. Alright. Throw them through the window so I'm able to have a ledge to stop on. Yeah, that was right. the general that was, idea. That was, that was the plan. I thought you guys were going to just throw them through the roof. I misunderstood. No, no the window. No, that would hurt like a lot. <laughs> yeah. Windows just broke the glass in the face. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you ready? Right. Well, as ready as I'll ever be. Perfect. Game is a game. Here we go. One goblin. <laughs> and one Whee! halfling. <laughs> Shatters through the wow. window. Tucks her over on the other side. <laughs> At least you don't have to go through the window. You get to go through an open hole. True. <laughs> All right. They just goes like a sack of potatoes inside the room. <laughs> Krell just three point lands, ready to fucking go. Room's empty. <laughs> I, f I fly up after them elegantly. Oh boy. All right, time to uh, turn this place inside out. Now we can actually check out the mayor's room properly. We just broken through a window as Cl Woods climbs through and through the window. We made a whole bunch of noise, and he's going to quickly go to the door and lock it. If they come for us, it's fine. I'm going to start turning shit over. Both these beds. Wait a beat. Desk open. Okay. Something's going on here. I'm going to put my mask before starting to help them. What's going on with these? Why Why are there two beds in here? That's very weird. We have a false bed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we heard you say that. Oh. You're good. A locked door. Uh... We're on the bottom half of the map. <laughs> Thank you. That's two floors. I forgot Door. to label them. Oh, there's chests at the foot of their beds, too? Yeah. Kick these it's called a open. hope chest. <laughs> What's going on? What's in this? Hello? Is there cool stuff in here? <laughs> a bunch of old trinkets. Childhood toys. Hey, Woots. You might want to come take a look at this. <laughs> and... In this one? Shout my name and we're in <laughs> Mental uh, Lake, do not shout the name. <laughs> oh right. People are gonna uh, know who we are. Yeah. That's uh, if we leave survivors. Uh, uh W, come come look at this. W my name is Roger. Roger Roger. Roger. Right. <laughs> I have that sound clip, I am not playing it. <laughs> right, Roger, sorry, sorry. Come come you you would be interested in 
You is like it? What is it? Of, you like this kind of stuff. Just like a man's lifetime worth of uh, collections. Brinkets and baubles. Odd coins Ooh. and interesting looking uh, just things a man's collected in 60 years of life. Does Paige find anything that he would like? Uh, you find a couple, uh, story manuscripts. All uncompleted. Most given up on. Yeah, oh, definitely Lord. taking that. <laughs> Is there really nothing going on in here? At the moment. Where's this? Oh, this is just like his. This is just his bedroom. Not just. This isn't his office as well. How about that? Yeah, you get no work done when you do that. It also makes you depressed. Uh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Someone just had a uh, life discovery there. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly did. <laughs> yeah, never work in the same place you sleep. It, uh, it's not good for the brain. Well, time to flip these beds over, see if there's anything under them. <laughs> One, nothing. Uh, you Ooh, find yeah. some uh, vampire erotica under the first bed. Oh. <laughs> I'm taking what, that what, for what, research. What kind? What, kind? <laughs> what are we talking about here? <laughs> That's as generic well, as I'm going to leave it. <laughs> it's, it's vampire erotica. It's a mix of bisexual fantasies. Hell yeah, I'm taking those. <laughs> uh, excuse me, but I need those for research later. <laughs> you, can, uh, you can have no. them when Hansel's done with them. You can, yeah. You, you can have them when I'm finished reading them. <laughs> Second bed. <laughs> uh, there's a couple uh, unfinished gadgets under there. Ooh. Of gadgets, I Do I you recognize any of these gadgets? Uh, a lot of it's just built with uh, simple circuits, trying to make things work. Uh, a few simple servos and motors. Gadgets. I need to pull something out of my alchemist tool bag. <laughs> also, the thing that you keep pulling stuff out of and then forgetting to use the stuff you pull out of it. The last thing- I don't even remember what the last thing I pulled out was. The, the yeah, fucking three wing. Cards I stole. The of many things. Yeah, you the got two cards. The first thing I pulled out was a duck. That you didn't even do anything with. That thing was a bomb. <laughs> it was a bomb! <laughs> I don't know, I just gave it to Luke because it was <laughs> Uh, also, since I didn't do it before, can I roll Arcana to see if there's any magic in the room? Sure. Come on, let's see it. Let's see something cool. Oh, uh, that's just great. <laughs> it's faint traces. Okay. Nothing spectacular. Come on, tool bag. Don't do me wrong today. The cards were nice. They did something. Now, how about... Now. Ha! Uh, you reach into the bag and you pull out a packet of gum with a single stick remaining in it. This feels like... Are you going to eat that? Uh... Yeah, actually, I think I am. Right now? Yeah. Yeah, right now. Alright, you take the piece of gum, you pop it in your mouth, you start chewing it like it's normal gum. And uh, nothing happens it's just it. yet. Alright. What does it taste like? Um. Tastes like cherry. Nice. This was a good choice. <laughs> Anyway, he's not here. Shall we just destroy everything we can find him? Uh, uh, might as well search the whole house. Yeah, we. Should, I mean, he's probably here somewhere, right? Yeah, it could just be having a midnight snack. We could just wait in the dark corner of the room until he enters. <laughs> not all of us are creeps <laughs> like you. Ugh. Oh boy. 
Fuck, for all we know, he could be sprawled out on the couch downstairs because he couldn't sleep reading a book or something. Uh, we are going to have to kill a bunch of guards in the way. We don't have to kill them, we could just, you know, injure them and knock them out. What can you catch that throws for us? Why are you why are you so ready to Still just looking at all this stuff? And so these people are not good people. Eh, that's probably true. Either they way, are, let's get to it. They have jobs, they work for a living. How is that normal? Well, technically we work for a living too. We just do a different kind of work. Hey, so the fact that your idea okay, that... of an evil person is somebody who works for a living, <laughs> that's not good, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's not okay. In reality, Paige has actually been working this whole time. Don't you ever say that to me again. <laughs> well, I mean, you put in a lot of effort to become a ledge. Maybe true. the true allegory for capitalism was the friends we made along. And that giant pile of gold in our treasury. <laughs> And the Ooh. money we're hoarding. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, who wants to take point? Because I don't want to. I'm ah. chewing my gum. Make sure there's I'll no secret it. entrances in this. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't... I flipped the bed, but I didn't check under the bugs. Yeah, it's just stone. <laughs> Fire yeah, check the fireplace. That's usually a good secret. Yeah, I know, I know. I literally just thought that. It's still lit. Uh, I have the ability to snuff out fire. Everyone does, because well, everyone who has prestidigitation does. Unless, oh, I never mind. It's a candle, or a torch, or a small campfire. How about that? Put that bitch out. <laughs> All right. You extinguish the fire, the room rapidly starts getting cold, because that was the only heat source. What's in here? Is it just soup? Just soot. Uh... Fuck. Nothing. Okay, now we can move Either on. Either I'll for um, Paige's mushrooms. That's true. That's, that's a good point. We're going to find out when we leave this room, I suppose. Okay, Crow, you lead. Yeah, you got it. Alright. I'm trying to think of something witty. Because you know what? what is Krell if not witty? Krell's just gonna walk out the room. Just no fucks given. And the guard's just like, hey, what are you doing in here? And Crow's just like, you didn't see shit. <laughs> and, uh, the roll intimidation. Holy Jesus shit! Jesus Christ! Uh, Crow's expertise in intimidation oh and has not made a single intimidation roll in three fucking years! <laughs> wow. Uh, uh, yeah, did, didn't see nothing. Wow. Never seen nothing. A grown man cower over a goblin. That's good. Some people good like enough, to keep bro. their knees intact. That's true. I I mean, I wouldn't want to get hit by that thing. Let's yeah. keep going. That Let's guy smells like celery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, make me perception. The same guard from before. Yeah, it's the same guard from before. Um, All right, when Woot passes by invisibly, he's going to say, Please. <laughs> like a hissing voice. Oh, jeez. Alright, so we make our way downstairs. Oh, how about that? And now we have options. We have two doors oh. instead of one door. Alright. Which way are we going? 
I say left. Left? <laughs> I mean, you know what they say. Uh, left is right. Oh boy. Alrighty. Crunch just walked through the door again. <laughs> she is way overconfident in her abilities at this point. I just following Crow at this point. Is there really nothing going on in here? Yeah. How about pretty... that? Nighttime. What's all the what's workers what's have gone home. What is what is that? Is that another chest? Could be. Could be. That means it's time for me to open this bitch up. <laughs> Alright, so uh What is this? You grab hold of the chest, go to fling it open, and What's the load? Oh my god. Did you really <laughs> just mimic me at this way in the campaign? <laughs> 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 no, it's gonna be nothing but full mimics now. Great. <laughs> uh, oh, what the fuck? Oh I, I told you so long ago. I was only gonna mimic once. <laughs> oh shit! Oh god! <laughs> I've got this hammer that's so good at breaking things. Uh. And mimics are surprisingly easy to kill when you're at high level. Uh, While well, Paige on. just watches Hansel deal with the mimic and we are just walking around, Crow just hears the cell phone or something. Cookies, everyone? Ooh, cookies. God! <laughs> Who just has one of these things in their house? <laughs> what kind of defense is this? I mean, it did work. That's true. It lured me in. Yeah, right in the living room. <laughs> like, you think that would have been that obvious. Seems, that seems dangerous. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he feeds it well or something. Maybe. Like, it could be a house I wonder why I don't break into them. Oh, that is so weird. All of my proficiencies just, like, Tripled for some reason. That's weird. I didn't do anything. <laughs> that's, like, that's really weird. Do you need any help? No, no, it's fine. It's it, not like my skill proficiency. Weapon and armor is. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, it's, it's weird. <laughs> There's just three of each of them for some reason. What's point weird? Yeah. And I thought this I thought it was a problem with just the five E sheet, but no. My the Deadlands game I got into teach it taught me it's not. It is it is not just the, the roll twenty or the the, D, the fifth edition sheet. Huh. It's all over this fucking site. Well, uh it's only a DC thirteenth strike check to get out, so Oh good. Oh. I think i I think I'm fine. Probably. Fine. Oh, yeah, more than fine. This fucking... Just fucking pull your hand away, like, the fuck? <laughs> no. Bad. Bad mimic. <laughs> uh, yeah, that hits. Uh oh Poor thing. Got them 40, 10, and just a 12. <laughs> how does... How does that... You rolled three on all of them? Yep. How the, f <laughs> the odds happen? of that. <laughs> it just kind of whines like a scolded puppy. Bad minute. Don't bite. Okay? Good. Go back to being docile. I'm going to turn right. to the mimic. Do you want a job after this? Yeah, do you need new friends? You have <laughs> Hell. four willing ones. Listen, if we it's make it out friends. of it, I am stealing that mimic. Yeah. It's a good boy. It bit me, but 
Just in self-defense, probably. You know, so. there are mimics out there that speak. Yeah, I've heard of that. Also, I can learn a spell that just makes them do that. Cool. You stay here. We're gonna go do other stuff. Alrighty. Coming up on the left here, well, stage left, is the uh, room Woods recognizes as the kitchen he was staked out in for a while. The kitchen. Yeah, how'd that, how'd that go? You just put some mushrooms Haunted in Haunted now. Gotcha. Is there anything in there you think we should, like, know about? You think it's worth checking out, or is there nothing in there? Curious that they had the soup. You're curious about the soup? Yes. I'm curious if they ate the soup with the mushrooms. I will peek in through the kitchen door. Not open it, but like peek in. I'm curious if he's still working at the stove. Uh, he sat at a nearby table. He definitely seems out of it. He's barely even awake. And, uh, that soup pot's only about half full now. Huh. Roots could smile. It'd be a, like, but there is a, a wide grin. A distinct and lack of, door. like, pastries and sweet cakes in the kitchen. Mmm. <laughs> that man got mad munchies. <laughs> It one seems more. fine. We can keep on looking. We got one more door <laughs> to right. check here. We got this room over here. Let's just peer in. Doesn't, I don't see anyone, so what is happening in here? All right. After making your way through the manor, you find yourself in a dimly lit, wide open room. A single spotlight shines down from above. Uh, I mean, uh oh no. Uh oh. I didn't mean to click the turn order thing. Um, <laughs> oh, what the fuck? This room's a lot bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> uh, so, Spock's light shines down from above, illuminating an aged human man in a plush velvet chair, reading a large book strewn across his lap. Uh, before you can even approach him and without raising his eyes from the pages, he addresses you. I know who you are and what you've done. It's all written here in my book. Every breath you ever took and every decision you've ever made, all recorded on its pages. Now you may find this hard to believe, but this has happened before many times and will happen many times again. It seems we are just mere playthings for some greater forces beyond our understanding. Puppets to be danced around for the enjoyment of others. Oh, Allow me to just way. awaken your minds. What the fuck is this guy talking about? In an instant, you find yourself standing on a great flat wooden surface, your bodies immobile. Massive sheets of parchment, figurines, and odd-shaped stones populate the landscape. As your eyes are drawn above the horizons... Oh, I got a hand out here... They just hit us with a reality mark. <laughs> you discover the silhouettes of four colossal figures. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Carefully observing no, the strange no. world you find yourself inhabited in. Uh, before you can wrap your minds around what is going on around you, a pair of the strange stones come crashing down to the ground and the world around you fades into darkness. In the following moments, your eyes settle into your new surroundings. A great forest spans out around you with no signs of intelligent life or markers of a path to be seen. Words echo through your minds as you find yourself able to move once more. You'll have to find your way through my world to make it back to yours. 
It is at this moment that you spot a trail of breadcrumbs leading off into the forest beyond. Welcome to the mind fuck. <laughs> fuck yeah, he did. Holy shit. <laughs> Remember, I told you guys we should just... <laughs> we should prepare better. I can't say I expected this. <laughs> He spewed off that whole thing. My man really did just use unlimited blade works on us. Oh, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know what's happening, but I blame Hansel. <laughs> what the fuck? Why me? Why not? Me. You can just blame me for everything that goes wrong. Uh, so yeah, the uh, hallucination it's into a storybook. The hallucination page had many, many years ago when he was consequently also high on mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Turned out to be true. Oh god. Because, uh... From your perspective, you are just figures on a table in a game played by colossal omnipotent entities. <sighs> you gotta love a good fourth wall break. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking crazy. Well, I'm not happy with this. <laughs> I I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it could be worse than the time we got transported to the Feywild for three years. Shut up, Hansel. You'll do this. Three years. Time changes. <laughs> What do you mean I did this? <laughs> Who else then? He did this! Oh yeah, the blame the old man for help. everything. <laughs> what? He's literally the guy we're here to kill! Well, you were here to kill, I was just going to talk to him. Really? Were you were you just going to talk I to him? Of course, fucking not. But I'm trying to make the, the, all of the troubles in the world your fault. So help me there. <laughs> I can. <laughs> we just have to figure this out as a team now. All right. Okay, that I is where we're gonna end. 